Hello everyone, welcome to Orchid C Learning. Today, let us see the objectives and question answers of the lesson Major Temperature Zones of the Earth from Class 5 Social Studies. First question, fill in the blanks. Number 1. The dash zone is situated between the two tropics. Torrid. The dash zones are between the two tropics and the Arctic and Antarctic circles. The answer is temperate. The dash zone lies at the extreme north of the northern hemisphere and the extreme south of the southern hemisphere. And the answer is frigid. Next, the areas between 10 degrees north and 10 degrees south are called the dash. It is equatorial regions. The areas between 10 degrees and 30 degrees north and south of the equator are called the dash. The answer is tropical regions. Next question, write true or false for the following statements. First statement, the equatorial regions have the largest variety of plants and animals. Think about your answer and, I, and as I keep telling you always, you can write your answers in the comment section or you can take any notebook for the better practice. I repeat the statement. The equatorial regions have the largest variety of plants and animals. The answer is true. Antarctica is the part of the temperate zone. False. Permanently frozen parts of the frigid zone are called polar ice caps. True. Next. The northern and southern temperate and frigid zones have exactly the same mammals. False. Orangutans are safe in their home in the forest of the torrid zones. False. Next, now see this question. You need to look at the words given in this box. Look at this box. These all are words. Now you need to arrange this all the words in the following table which contains three sections that is torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. So put the words in the right column. You can have a look in the table. Look at the answer. In torrid zone, evergreen equatorial rainforests, teak and sal, Savanna, Sahara Desert. In temperate zone, four seasons, oak and maple, ranchers, coniferous forests, frigid zone, blizzards, tundra vegetation, penguins, and frozen continent. Next question, short answer type questions. First question, why are the temperate zones also called heat zones? Answer, the different temperature zones are also called heat zones because the heat in each of these zones depend on how far it is from the equator. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई डू डेजर्ट एरियाज हैव वेरी फ्यू सिटीज आंसर इज डेजर्ट एरियाज हैव वेरी फ्यू सिटीज एज डेजर्ट आर नॉट मीन्ड फॉर ह्यूमन लाइवलीहुड द टेम्परेचर्स आर अनबेरेबल एंड वेरी एक्सट्रीमली बिटवीन डे एंड नाइट write one or two sentences about first desert plants and second coniferous trees look at the answer desert plants desert plants are hardy plants adapted with fleshy stems thorny and with tiny leaves long roots and strong seeds coniferous trees they are tall straight cone bearing trees with needle like leaves like pine and fir next question why is farming not possible in frigid zone answer farming is not possible in frigid zone as it is very difficult for plant life as ground is frozen almost throughout the year It is impossible to grow crops in this region due to its climatic condition. Next question. Explain why the number of bison in North America were greatly reduced. I repeat the question. Explain why the number of bison in North America were greatly reduced. answer is large areas of grasslands were converted into farmland as well as towns and cities for people to live by human beings due to this number of bison in north america were greatly reduced human interference with the nature always affects animal and plant life thank you for watching to watch the lesson explanation of the lesson major temperature zones of the earth You can see the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.